The final inventory costing method we're going to talk about is last in first out. Using this method, we're going to assume that the most recent items that we purchased are the ones that are going to be sold first. So if we sold the most recent items first, then the oldest items are the ones that are remaining in our ending inventory. You need to remember that this is not what companies physically do. They do not go to their warehouse, they do not take the most recent purchases and sell those. This is just an inventory valuation method. This is what we do to calculate the value of our ending inventory and of our cost of goods sold. So this is just an accounting method. Last and first out assumes that for accounting purposes, the most recent items that we purchased are assumed to be sold first. Let's go back to our example here. We're going to use last in first out. Therefore, the, fir the most recent items purchased are the first to go. We sold 17 items. So we assume that the first three to go out are the purchases on the 26th of January, the $7 items. The next items to go are the ones that we purchased on the 20th. So those six are the next to go. Then we go on to the purchase that was made on the 12th of January. All those seven items will also go. So we assume that those were the ones that we sold next. And then finally, we sold one item from the beginning balance. So when we are doing last and first out, we start selling, we assume that we start selling the most recent ones first, then we move back. Last in is the first out. Remember, this is just an inventory valuation method. So now let's value our cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold would be $20, which is the sum of the 26th purchase plus 39 plus 42 plus one of the $5 ones from our beginning balance. So 21 plus 39 plus 42 plus one of the $5 inventory items, giving us a total of $107. Next, let's take a look at our ending inventory. How much is our ending inventory? Our ending inventory would consist of four of the $5 items which would give us $20. So our ending inventory balance would be $20. Again, remember, this is just an inventory valuation method. Companies do not go to their warehouse and pick the last items they bought to sell. What they are doing is just valuing inventory. If the question is asked where, what would companies physically do? What would companies physically do? What they would typically do is they would sell the items that they bought first. They would go and sell those first. So FIFO is similar to what companies would physically do. But for inventory valuation, a company can use average cost, first in first out, or last in first out. GAP allows you to use any of the three methods. Next, we'll take a look at why a company would use first in first out or last in first out.